On Thursday, November 24, 2016, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibajo, visited Anambra State on a one-day working visit that took him to the four major cities in the state. The visit was the result of Governor Obiano's persistence in soliciting the federal government's support through the Central Bank of Nigeria for the business community in the state. Professor Sibajo was accompanied on the visit by a high-powered federal government delegation, including the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Engineer Babache Lawal, Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ngige, and members of the National Assembly. On arrival, the Vice President, Professor Sibajo, accompanied by Governor Willie Obiano, the Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ngige, and others, first proceeded on a tour of Interfact Breweries facility in Onicha and Crisoral Industries, located at Onicha Industrial Harbor. With all our hearts, we pray and ask, God bless Anambra, God bless the shining light that we bear. We're the only ones to make her brighter, the only ones to make her better, the only ones to make an Ambra shine With our sweat and blood Every breath of our lives With trust in God We will lift our homeland high We believe in togetherness We'll build a land of progress Lift the spirit of Anambra Lift the spirit of Anambra Lift the spirit of Anambra States we love The Vice President also visited other industrialists at Industrial Harbor Estate on the chair. Addressing the industrialists, Professor Sibajo said the federal government will do everything within its powers to encourage manufacturers in the state to improve their capacity for increased productivity. That this is truly the hotbed of industrialization in Nigeria. Yes. And I'm very, very pleased. I'm here, you know, uh, on the instruction of Mr. President, uh, President Muhammad Buhari, to see for myself firsthand uh, the types of industries that are going on locally. And of course, we've chosen to come here first because we know that this is one of the most active places in the country, uh, laid out so many different uh, things that he expects us to do. And, uh, Hopefully we'll be able to do so. Of course, you'll notice that I came along with the Minister of Labour and Productivity because the most important thing today is uh, to employ, to ensure that we're able to create jobs, create opportunities for our people. So I'm excited to be here, and I want to thank you very much for the very warm welcome. I've seen a lot, and I'll be reporting back to Mr. President that whatever we can do to support uh, Harbour, this industrial estate, and so many others, we will do. Thank you very much. The Vice President, led by Governor Willie Obiano, also paid an inspection visit to Innocent Motors Company at Newi. In his welcome address, Chief Obiano revealed that he attracted the delegation to the state to enable them to have first-hand information on the challenges which industries in the state face with a view to eliciting federal government intervention in key areas of power, foreign exchange, and access to capital. In his remarks, the Vice President, Professor Sibajo, said that the federal government has adopted a policy of patronizing locally manufactured vehicles. Just yesterday, uh, the, uh, the, uh, 
Federal Executive Council, a number of cars was approved for purchase and uh, for the Federal Road Safety Corps. And uh, the, the supplier is uh, Innocent Motors. In fact, we have seen quite a few of them, uh, quite a few of the vehicles already getting sent uh, to be sent over to, to the Federal Road Safety Commission. So we're extremely pleased that we're able to see Nigerian enterprises that are doing so well and that are surmounting the challenges that we face. And um, we're very, very confident that this is the a direction that we ought to go, creating employment, uh, innovative, and um, extremely hardworking and committed to, to the Nigerian project. So we're really, really very excited to be here. The one-day working visit of Vice President Yemi Osibajo witnessed his inauguration of Rimco Fractionation Plant in Newi, an establishment by a private investor for the refining of palm oleum. Still in Newi, the Vice President also took a facility tour of a noodles producing company, Tommy Tommy and Chickasin Industries Limited, where he had an interface with each of the industrialists. He also addressed the workers at the factories. The challenges this uh, company is facing has been made known to the president, vice president, and I know that uh, he will address them so that more and more of you will be employed. That's where the uh, minister of uh, labor is here, and that's why the vice president came, you know, to see how in this recession, to make sure that nobody loses his job, and make sure that the factory is open and working and functioning. I'm very pleased to be here, very excited to be here in your midst today. I like the fact that you are determined to remain here, not just here in this part, but here in Nigeria to work. It is our duty to make our country great. Our country owes us also a duty to provide the right environment for work. And that's why I'm here, to look around, to see what the challenges are, to see what the issues are so that we can see what we need to do to address some of the challenges with industry. The, the future of our country is in manufacturing. The future of our country is in industry, is in growth. That's the future. And the future of our country, of course, is right here. Uh, you, uh, ladies and gentlemen that are here, you are the future of this country. So I think that my coming here today is, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really glad that I came and also that I brought with me the Honourable Minister of uh, Labour and Employment because it's very, very crucial to the government of Nigeria and especially the President who very well engaged, was not just engaged in this way but also incrementally that we're able to equip it for a much greater future and I hope that we'll be able to do so. So very, I'm, I'm glad to be here and I thank you very much for uh, being here and for sticking to what you're doing but working very very hard in this place. Professor Sibajo, who said he was amazed at the industrial activities going on in the state, commended Governor Obiano for his vision of securing a better deal for the business community in the state. In his remarks, Governor Obiano said what his administration intends to achieve through the visit is to create the awareness of what is going on in the state's industrial sector so that the federal government can assist the industrialists in key areas that pose a challenge to them. 
Later at the town hall meeting at Professor Dora Konyele Women Development Center, Oka, Professor Yemi Osibajo said the present administration at the center is committed to ensuring that the country bounces back from the present economic recession stronger and better. In his remarks, Governor Willie Obiano revealed his expectation that the visit will yield positive results, urging the people to continue to support and pray for his administration and that of President Muhammad Buhari. This is with a view to finding out how myself as the governor of Anambra State can help them ameliorate on the challenges of this recession and also what the federal government can do for them. So we articulated uh, what I took to the vice president and he promised that he will come down to see for himself and that's why he's here today. And uh, he saw for himself how hard working uh, these industrialists are. And uh, he has promised to take the message home to the president and I'm convinced that something good will come out of this visit. We've started implementing the palliatives that uh, we reassure you that we will do. We have removed taxes for the very low income people that you are aware. We have removed all the excesses that uh, the principal state from, uh, from the students. So today, your student can go to school free up to that level without you paying anything. This is the pump, you know, in a recession, you don't retreat, you pump money to attack it. That's what we are doing. We are pumping money into the system to be able to change that nose of a recession and for it to come off the curve. Our last governor really is working. Not only that, I will pay your leave allowance and the salary before the Christmas. You know, so The town hall meeting attracted key stakeholders in the state, including members of the national and state assemblies, government functionaries, traditional rulers, women, youths and civil society organizations in the state, among others. The one-day working visit of Vice President Yemi Osibajo came to a halt after a meeting with importers and traders of Anambra extraction at the Governor's Lodge Amobia where he disclosed that the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Federal Ministry of Finance are to meet with him over plans to grant manufacturers and traders in the state access to funds at low interest rate. I am very interested in knowing exactly what the situation of things is, especially with those who are manufacturing and with those who are running factories. The the president has also been extremely interested in that, and probably, that probably explains why uh, he was very particular even about the issue of how foreign exchange is allocated, you know, how foreign exchange eventually gets the hands of uh, industrialists and um, <coughs> those who run factories. I'm sure many know that uh, the central bank has, I think it's a 60-40 rule, 60 for raw materials, 40 for others. Now, the major problem, of course, is that there is, as you know, a shortage of foreign exchange. And we're going to look at what, what else is possible. Because, as I said, the one reason why I came here is because I believe very strongly that this state in particular, and the industries, many of the industries were visited, and many that have not visited, constitute the industrial backbone of this country. Earlier, while welcoming the vice president and other guests, Governor Biano explained that his administration is doing everything possible 
for industrialists in the state because of their strategic role in boosting the state's gross domestic product through wealth and employment generation. Up to this uh, room for us to put us together on what I can do differently to help you uh, improve your business uh, with the challenges that we have on hand. Apart from the ones I could do readily at the federal government, so we articulated the points that uh, you made and I took it to Abuja uh, and met with the Vice President uh, who immediately promised to visit, to see for himself and uh, that's exactly what he's uh, done today to fulfill that promise. Some traders and manufacturers who spoke at the event raised issues on accessibility of foreign exchange, difficulty in movement of cash, massive extortion of traders on the roads by customs officers and the activation of Onicha inland ports calling for the urgent intervention of the federal government. Okay.